Hey guys, um, Keno Robotics here. Uh, I'm making a series of videos to document my journey and um, learning Robot C for programming my LEGO Mindstorms EV3. Okay, I have been using the um, graphical based EV3G programming language uh, for the past, past few years and I figured it's uh, time for me to uh, pick a text-based programming language to move beyond the graphical base. So um, after doing some research, um, Robot C seems to be the preferred um, text-based programming language for me uh, due to a couple of reasons. So of course, the first one <coughs> is um, I want to move beyond graphical based EV3G programming language. And uh, secondly, it's C based programming language, which is widely used in a lot of applications. And part of the reason why I chose Robot C is because it has great support for third party hardware like mind sensors and high technique sensors and actuators. And the fourth one is it's easy to find well-structured tutorials online. And I just want to talk about the purpose of my Robot C videos. So it is mainly to document my journey in learning the language to, produce, to program EV3. It is not meant to be like a typical structured tutorial videos. Um, my approach to these videos will be project based. So what I would do is I would come up with a, a project, think of what I want to do, then I will learn uh, the codes in Robot C and how to code it in Robot C to achieve what I want. So the videos will include things uh, that I do wrong and how I make it work eventually. So. Okay. Since I'm very new in Robot C, um, so I thought uh, I wanted to start with something very simple. So, being a Malaysian Chinese, uh, I celebrate Chinese New Year. So, one of the easiest program that I can think of is to actually just make the EV3 play a Chinese New Year song. So. I actually programmed one of the famous Chinese New Year songs uh, and this is the original program of the song called Choi San Do. Now, in Robot C, um, there's a command called Play Tone and if you expand text functions on the left hand side, you will see a function called Playtone. Um, what I notice is uh, Playtone only accepts two arguments. Okay. The first one is the frequency and the second one is the duration in milliseconds. Okay. But in order to play tone, um, normally you would construct a piece of music in tones like C, D, E, F, G, A, and etc. And how do, did I find these values? Uh, luckily, in the original EV3G software, if you just drag a play sound block, um, and you choose play tone. The frequencies for the corresponding notes or tones are actually displayed when you pull down this this list here. So basically, I just copied the, the frequencies of the the tones, and I declare it as a float variable. And after I'm done with that, um, 
I just um, construct my my song using play tone with the corresponding tone and the duration. Okay, it's a very simple program. It only has a, a main task. It has a infinite loop. So in robot C, how you do a infinite loop is to use a while statement and just put a true. So this line, um, if sensor value touch equals zero, actually waits for the sensors to be touched, the touch sensor. And if you press on it, it will start playing the play tones. Okay, so if I just download this program, oops, sorry. Okay, so I need to close this EV3G and download this program. And if I start running the program, It sounded okay um, because I added a lot of random sleep commands in places which I shouldn't um, add sleep commands and I had no idea um, how much time is needed so it's just by trial and error so um, if I take away for example, this extra slip command and redownload. The program just acted weird and initially I had no idea what went wrong um, so after experimenting with the, the play tone a little bit more um, eventually I figure out uh, what happened and it turns out For each play tone, you need to put a delay. Uh, for example, if your play tone, if you want to play a tone for half a second, you need to put a delay of half a second. Okay. Or the code will just. Um, continue executing the next line without waiting for the tone without waiting for the music to, to complete uh, so this is what happened in my previous program um, the program was executing all the lines uh, immediately without waiting for uh, the tone to actually complete so what I did here in this uh, second program is to um, declare a subroutine called play tone to finish which accepts uh, two variables one is uh, a floating point variable called the note which I declared earlier in here the second variable is called duration 
which is uh, in milliseconds and then I add another line okay this means 10 times duration um, because this is in 10 milliseconds and delay is actually in milliseconds so this is just to basically make sure the duration here is the same here okay and this is the improved program here you don't see like um random slip commands or delay commands so they are exactly where they are needed and let me show you how it plays now so I will go through um, my code from the beginning to the end briefly uh, just to let you know what they do so this first line that you see here hashtag pragma config is actually uh, generated by robot C configuration wizard so um, when you set up your EV3 uh, you can configure your motors and your sensors here so for my program uh, I use one touch sensor uh, which was an NXT touch sensor instead of uh, an EV3 touch sensor but uh, there's no option for NXT touch sensor so I chose the EV3 touch sensor instead and I gave it a name of touch so when you press OK it will generate uh, this line for you the next um, 13 the next these these are all the floating the float variables to define all the uh, musical notes in frequencies so what I did here was I assigned a frequency of 261.63 to this variable floating variable called C and etc Okay, this is a subroutine which I define to make sure um, there's a delay after each play tone. The delay duration is exactly the same with the play tone duration. Okay, and of course you have your main task, which is your main program. So in the beginning, I set the the volume of the speaker to fifty percent. And this is an, an infinite loop. Okay, this if statement checks for uh, the touch sensor value. Um, you will notice that I put a zero here uh, because of the NXT touch sensor somehow is giving an inverted value, meaning if it's touch, it will give you a zero, and if it's not touch, it will give you a, a value of one. So I had to put um, zero to check for the touch sensor if it's pressed. So once it is pressed, the program will just start executing my subroutine called play tone to finished, which has two arguments. Okay, this is the the tone, and this is the duration in ten milliseconds. Thirty means 300 milliseconds not 30 okay and this line here uh, basically uh, instructs the program to do nothing if the touch sensor is not pressed and so basically that is it so to recap um,
you must add a sleep or a delay command after each play turn. So this is very important and uh, so that's it for today. Okay. I hope this helps you in avoiding the mistakes that I made. Um, thank you very much for watching and if you like and if you find my video helpful please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.